It's a special Christmas night edition of the NFL on EA Sports. The holiday season is upon us. We've got the gift of the NFL as we're underway here in Week 16. And they will elect to not bring this one out as our first drive will begin at the 25. So the Colts now coming out for their opening drive. And a look here at their go-to guy under center. And it felt like in watching the game tape, he got everyone involved last week. He know? was a manager. He really was. That's a great way to put it because they ran the ball some, they threw it accurately. One touchdown pass, so he didn't, you know, break the bank doing that, but he didn't throw any interceptions. That's the bottom line. That's why a defense loves a quarterback like that. Doesn't put them in bad situations. The cards get to him here. He's brought down for a sack. The defense rising to the challenge and setting him back on the sack. How about the defense there trying to set the tone on the very first play of the game? Yeah, there's a little bit of a glow here tonight because they brought the heat right out of the gate. What a good job establishing a tone for this one. And he'll be taken down at the 18. Give him six on the run. It'll be third down now with still a long way to go to get to the first down marker. Well, this defense for the Cards, they were terrific a week ago in that win over Detroit. And the big difference in the ball game, their ability to force turnovers, three of them, in fact, being able to take the ball away, give it back to their offense, that's something that's emphasized each and every week, and they carried it out. Oh, moving from his tight end spot there. Do you think that perhaps the play call was for him? So the false start certainly doesn't help matters as they'll try again now, third and long. He's going to wind up and air it out. And got his man complete. And he makes it all the way down to the 31. A big play there for Indy. Every defensive staff harps on limiting explosive plays. <laughs> Job not so well done there. Yeah, they talk about it all the time. A lot harder to stop, though, isn't it? And when you think of an explosive play, most offensive staffs define them as passes of 20 or more yards and runs of 15 or more yards. They went zoom and pass that number there. He'll be dropped at the 25 after a gain of six. The numbers on the ground for Martin a week ago, 21 carries, 99 yards. Well, this is where it becomes a challenge for the offensive coordinator. He's got a bell cow at tailback right now, number three in the league in rushing within shouting distance of the, of the lead. But at the same time, if the passing game is open, he's got to take advantage of that too. A three-yard pickup on second and four. Now they'll need to convert here on third and a little more than a yard. a play fake as they set up to throw. Throw left side complete. That's Bryant. And he is going to have a Colts first down as they're able to convert on third and short yardage with a gain of four. Inside the red zone here. They'll look to throw. That is caught at the seven. And the Colts are going to be set up with a first and goal coming up as they get him down at the six-yard line. First and goal, a chance for an early statement here on the road. Back to throw here. And it's caught. And just shy of the goal line as he's out of bounds right at the one. That's good for a gain of six, second and goal. He'll keep it himself, and he'll get into the end zone. Touchdown, Indianapolis. It's their quarterback keeping it himself from a yard out, and the Colts take it right down and score on the opening drive. The call is to go for one and kick the extra point. And this is good to make it 7-0 Indy. So that drive consumes nine plays, all told. And it ends with a one-yard touchdown run. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. Here's Smith to return it. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. So out come the Cardinals now for their opening drive. 
And out will come the leader of this offense. And that, of course, is their signal caller. And what a performance in his last game. A couple touchdown passes. That was positive. But more than two interceptions. Yeah, that's not what he's looking for. What did Vince Lombardi say, though? Winning isn't everything. It's the only thing. And that's what he hangs his hat on after last week's game. Off the play fake, he'll look to throw. And he'll be brought down by the Colts. They'll wind up losing eight on the sack there, and it's second down. We talked about prior to the game, and it played out right there on the first play, didn't it? This offensive line is going to have its hands full all night long. Now you often speak of scripts to start a game. Does this mean that play number two, they're going to go off the script a little bit? Yeah, it was interesting. Under pressure, they got him again. They'll wind up losing a full nine yards here on the sack. Now it's third down. After one, seven, nothing on EA Sports. After the sack, they'll come up now third and long. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised to see them run the ball here just to try and get some space. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. They'll get that one to Taylor complete. It's a gain of 11, but they're still well short. It's fourth down. So Charles, first drive here, a little safe completion underneath. Maybe get some rhythm, get your feet wet, so to speak. I agree, and I like it because it's a lot like a basketball game when you're getting started and you pass the ball around so everyone touches it early and gets involved in the game. In this case, it's not just dumping it to a back and he's able to run with the ball, but you get your offensive linemen involved because they get to get out and run and hit people in the open field. Everyone getting their feet wet early. Second drive coming up here for the Indianapolis Colts. They'll be looking to duplicate that first drive, the one that got them that 7 0 lead. Of course they would. I mean, look, they're on the road. So getting the 7 0 lead was huge for them, right? Imagine getting up two touchdowns on the road, taking the crowd out of the game. It'd be ideal. Two yards the gain on the keeper, and it's second down. That was a pretty good job defensively to hold them to a two yard run, but I've got to think this offensive line, they're asking their quarterback for a different type of a run, one that they rely on, one they have confidence in, one they feel like they can block. And he'll be tackled right on the chalk of the 45. Well, they obviously red man covers their partner, and he got downfield, broke down the defender, made him what think. What do you mean by that? Broke yeah, he made him think he was going to run a different route, probably thought he was going to take it upfield, then he curls back inside for the completion. And he'll work it across midfield inside the 45. Back-to-back 11-yard -back gains, and they've got another first down. Well, that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Drive keeps moving. And he still has yet to get on track in this first half as they're going to stop him behind the line. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. An interesting and intriguing decision there defensively because they kept extra DBs on the field despite seeing the multiple tight end look that came out for the offense. I thought they were going to switch out of it. I didn't know if they felt they didn't have time or what the case was. Well, in any event, the extra speed allowed for great penetration as they stuffed that one behind the line of scrimmage. It gets them a little over half of what they needed. Now they're looking at a third and five. Two minutes on the clock, second quarter, 7-0 ball game. Coming up at halftime, I'll go from one personality, that's you, Charles Davis, to another one in Orlando, the coach. He'll have stats and scores from around the NFL. You and Jonathan Coachman, both larger than left. Touchdown, Indianapolis! A great play there. His second touchdown on the season. And the Colts add on to their lead. It's not much as perfect in football, but that's about as close to it as you're going to get. Score, force a punt, score again. And both drives were impressive. The opening drive was, that last one was. Now on the other side, though, what's your psyche? You're really behind the eight ball. You got to make sure you just hold in there. Survive the early storm. Relax a little bit and try and get back to your game plan. It's way too early for panic. Extra point right down the middle, and it's now 14 to nothing. 
That time, a six-play drive, and it culminates in an Indianapolis touchdown. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. And no return on this one as the fair catch is signaled for and taken. So the Cardinals offense back onto the field here for their second drive of the game. They're staring at a two-touchdown deficit, 14-0 the score as they regroup with first and 10. Now a throw right side taken in here to start this drive. And all the way down to the 35. Now after the completion, we're going to get a timeout, an injured player. Not something you want to see in week 16 or any week, really. We'll be right back. So that changes things a bit. Here's a first and 10 all the way down at the 35. Now a throw here to his running back. He's going to go out of bounds, but he takes this one down just shy of the 20. And I like the idea here. Get the ball in his hands, even if it's in the passing game. Three catches a week ago, and he does a nice job here to pick up yardage. Back to throw now on first down. And he'll be hit as he releases it, and that'll fall incomplete. You could tell they wanted to get that ball downfield, but they had nothing working in the secondary, so he dropped it off to the running back. That one ended up incomplete. So after the incompletion on first, now second and 10. Back to throw again. To the right side, complete to Taylor. And they got it inside the 10 at the 8. This is first and goal, and a golden chance to get a score back here before halftime. He'll drop to throw. He'll find his man. That's Taylor again. And he takes this down to about the two before going out of bounds. That's good for a gain of six, second and goal. It appears they found something that's working, and they keep going back to it. I guess you can actually say he has the hot hands now, doesn't he? Yeah, well, it's one thing to hit your guy out of the backfield once, hit him a couple times. Yeah, you're right. Maybe they're on to something. And I think a lot of that is simply if you get... And he will get into the end zone. Touchdown, Arizona. A great effort there. His 19th touchdown now of the season. And the Cardinals draw a bit closer. He had the option to hand that football off. I think it's safe to say that he made the right decision. That was a heck of a run. It certainly was. And when you mentioned the option, most people think the quarterback's not going to keep the ball. You know, in the NFL, that's usually not the recipe for being around too long. So when you do keep it, it often surprises the heck out of a defense. The extra point splits the uprights. And that'll cut the lead down to a touchdown. kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. And he'll just take a seat and the drive will begin at the 25-yard line. Now out comes their leader and the captain of this offense back onto the field. He's thrown for a touchdown. He also ran for a touchdown, so they have to count for a guy that can do a little bit of both. And because of that, that puts a defense back on its heels because normally you just think, okay, he's going to throw the ball. Let's tee off, put a little extra pressure on him. But when he's able to either escape or run with the ball in design plays, that really changes what you try and do on defense. Yeah, you certainly can't forget about the arm, that's for sure. The Colts going to use the first of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. Ball on the 30. They'll come up with a second and five. They'll look to throw. Looking well, and that's complete. And now a fumble. The ball's out, and the Cardinals have got it. Go the other way. And his guys are going to take over at the 34-yard line. So they will tread backward on the holding penalty. And I know that they're going to get coached up and they'll get yelled at a little bit, but let's face it, it is hard not to do at the speed and pace that they play. On first down, he'll drop to throw. Flushed out right. On the run, he'll let it go deep, right sideline. That was nice work there defensively to force in completion. Now, even though this drive started in plus territory, they're still not field goal range yet. So they can work towards another couple of stops and not allowing that turnover to hurt. 
He finds his man complete. That's Owens. And they move this all the way down to the nine. A big connection on that one. 34 yards. And that is caught. Touchdown, Cardinals. A great play there. As the first half is winding down. And the Cardinals have a chance to tie the game here in the final seconds of the half. CD for them, this has just been an offensive explosion here in the second quarter. Yeah, held scoreless in the first quarter. Now they find the end zone again here in the second. Sometimes you just have to have some patience. A lot of people think it's always an adjustment. You have to change what you're doing. Sometimes you just have to do your game plan just a little bit better. And I think that's part of what we're seeing here. Point after, right down the middle. And we are tied here in the second quarter. This one tied at 14 now as he sends this one away. And not wanting to risk anything here late in the half. He'll just take a knee and they'll bring the football out to the 25. The Colts come to the line ready to start their next drive as they take over here with 11 seconds remaining. They'll indeed try to run it out as they start on the ground. And he sneaks his way forward only for a couple here. Second down. So thanks to the late touchdown, it's a time ball game here heading to break. As we send you on out to our studios in Orlando, here's Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. Welcome in, everyone, to our EA Sports Halftime Report. Let's get you caught up on what's going on. Due to time constraints, we move you forward in today's broadcast to the beginning of the third quarter. And ready to get the party started for the second half. It was an even first half, all tied on the scoreboard. Here's Smith to return it. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. So here's the Cardinals offense now as they get set to start this third quarter. It's a tie football game here. What do you think, Charles, the message was at halftime? Well, I think that they probably just looked at things and said, we're fortunate that this is a tie game. No need to panic. No need to change a whole lot. We didn't play anything close to our best in the first half, so we don't have to go out and win one for the Gipper. Let's just go out and play our best football and win one for us. Now here's a throw that's complete. And take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. And this was a nice example of an offensive coordinator scheming his guy open. Just a little underneath route, just trying to free up some space. And it worked awfully well. Got him not just space, but plenty of room to run after the catch to pick up really nice yardage. And that is incomplete. Similar to a shooter in basketball who just connected on the previous shot. They run another set for him on the next play. Now we had a guy who made the catch. They try to get the big one downfield, but came up empty. Buying time to his left. He'll end up getting five out of that, but now they're looking at third down. set up to throw he finds his man complete that's Owens and he is going to have a Cardinals first down as they're able to get the third down conversion well, we always hear about the connections some quarterbacks have with certain receivers I think this guy has a connection with just about everyone didn't mind throwing it in there against double coverage to him show some confidence supreme confidence the ball comes out and the Colts pick it up there he goes, left side. 30, 10, and they are going to score on the fumble return. Touchdown, Indianapolis. 
so many times tight games decided by one big play. And a lot of times, of course, it's the offense here. It's the defense coming up huge. And you know head coaches walk around locker rooms, walk around bench areas saying, guys, somebody make a play. It's a cliche, but it applies here. And now before the ball changes hands, they're going to take a look at this just to make sure that they have it right. The thing that they'll be looking at is the spot of the football, and uh, this is always such a tough one for officials to get exactly right. Not just because of how fast the game's going, but just trying to get the right sight line to the football, that's not always easy. We'll see what they decide here. So that challenge, a successful one. The fumble on first down, now here's second down. Following the fumble recovery, Johnson. And it's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. From the snap, he certainly looked like he knew where he wanted to go with the ball, but surprise, that guy was covered. So that took his attention elsewhere to no avail. So the failure to connect on second down, that leaves him staring up here at a third and eight. They'll drop to throw. Man open, it's Moss complete. And he is going to have a Cardinals first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. I don't care how many times we see it, I still get a kick out of watching quarterbacks and receivers do the pass tree in pregame warm-up. But I always remember that when we go to practices, we see that after practices as well. They really tune it up, don't they? They tune it up. They know why they do it for these situations. First down. And they build that trust, and that's why they're able to find him in this type of a situation. What makes a draw play like that successful? Well, we did see where he made the first wave miss, and that was a big part of it. But a lot of it is just being actors back there. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Arizona. A great effort there. Good touchdown over 20 on the year. And the Kites use the short field to their advantage as they cash in for six. Now he's given them a little jolt, just gave them the lead there, but two TDs now in the game. And that jolt puts them in the lead. What a terrific job by him. He is carrying the ball and simply saying, I want to win. And now he's hoping his defense has that mentality as they try to hang on to that lead. Extra point right down the middle. And the lead is now 21-14. So that drive of four plays. And it's culminated by a two-yard touchdown run. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. And he'll just sit on this one as their drive will start at the 25. Here's the Colts now as they get ready for their first possession on offense of the second half. They'll look for a drive to tie this up, down 21-14 as they have it first and 10. They try to fire up the running game with Martin. And he'll work this forward for about three at second down. Sometimes with the running game, you've just got to stick with it. Look, it's the third quarter, no time to panic. But that also doesn't mean you just do it the same way you've been doing it the entire ball game. Maybe change up some blocking assignments or run a few different plays, but stay with the overall essence of the running game. And that's a more than acceptable read right there because it's zone coverage, so timing is everything. This time he waits for his man to come open, puts it right on him, and they pick up a first down. Now a toss left side into the hands of his tight end. Five yards on the catch there, brings up second down. Not a big window to throw. Coverage wasn't too bad there. Yeah, they had him under wraps pretty well, but somehow able to muscle his way open and catch the ball. On second down, Martin. And he'll be brought down at the 48-yard line. One quarter remains here in week 16. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. The drive continues as they search for a tying touchdown. Here's first and 10. They'll look to throw. And 
this is going to be incomplete. And there's a good opportunity to just run a ride there, a drop pass. I guess that's why they call them running backs and not catching backs. Here's second and ten. They'll look to throw here. And this time he's got the hookup. It's complete. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made here at the Cardinals 36. I like the design that we're seeing right there. This is what they need. Down by a touchdown here in the fourth. They just need to keep working their way downfield. And when they see openings, take their shots. Throwing over the middle, but it's incomplete. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. On the draw, here's Martin. And he'll be upended at the 33 following a gain of three. And guess what? It brings up third down. This will be the eighth play of the drive. It's third and seven. They'll run with a backup. This is Williams. And he will be very close to a first down, but I see the close fist of the referee. And that means fourth down. What a luxury to have a guy like this who can not only spell your starter, but can come in and keep drives going. One score down. Here we go. They're going to go for it here on fourth down. Running for it. Here's Martin. And he will have the first down, but he winds up paying for it pretty good. He needed less than a foot. He didn't get a whole lot more than that, but he did get the first down. Well, he and his offensive line created enough push where if he was able to just fall forward as he was able to there, that would pick up the first down. As you noted, didn't need a whole lot, didn't get much more than that. This will be a short gain of three before he's brought down at the 22. Second down at seven. Looking to throw. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. And brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the 7. And this has been a nice answer to the touchdown drive against them a few minutes ago because they've come out and reestablished the tempo. A nice throw there, and they're putting together a very strong drive as a response. So the Colts in possession of the football as we get you reset. They come up on a first and goal with this game still hanging in the balance. They'll run, Martin, and he'll take this into the end zone. Now, hold on here. We do have a flag down, so let's see what this is about. Holding offense. Late game, that hurts. Take the touchdown off the board. No doubt about it, and this is where you make a great movie scene, right? Go in, rally the team. Okay, we lost points there. Let's get it back and go out and score again. Can he get it done? Back to throw. And a quick throw here. That's complete. That's good for a gain of six, second and goal. Now the Colts moving quickly here in the hurry-up offense. Second down throw for the end zone, but it's incomplete. Third and long coming up defensively. You pressure the quarterback or drape all over the passing lane? Yes, that's exactly both. what you do. It's both because they're not mutually exclusive. They may have been at one time in football, but not anymore. You want to have that pressure. If you have a big-time pass rusher, send him after the quarterback and then make sure you blanket the field. Got to try it here. He's back to throw. And that is caught. Touchdown, Indianapolis. A great play there. His second touchdown of the game, his third on the year. And the Colts are an extra point away from tying this game here in the final minutes. Well, the hard part's done. Now they just need to split the post, tie it up, but then their defense is going to have to hold up to send it to overtime. Yeah, no matter what. I know there's an inclination in it when you have momentum to go for two here, but if you miss it, you don't give your defense a chance at all. Plus, it's been a good game. I want to see overtime. I'm selfish. <laughs> you obviously don't have a flight to catch tomorrow. Don't forget the extra point. It's up and good. And, partner, we've got a tie game here in the fourth. A couple of teams locked into a good one here. 21 all the score as the kick's away. And a fair catch signaled for and taken successfully. There 
Arizona getting ready to go as they take the field. They've got work to do, but they do still have a bit of time here. And they've got to feel comfortable with that, but they have all their play sequences called. If they get out of bounds, that allows them to huddle and call another play, but if they don't, it's hurry up to the line of scrimmage and either spike it and stop the clock or continue to move it downfield in order to try and get in range and win this game. See if they can do just that. He finds his man complete. That's Owens. First down now, but the clock continues to move. He'll look to throw. Throwing the out route incomplete. It's Owens. And he's out of bounds as he gets this down to the 45. Second and three. Being chased out left. Toward the sideline, and look at that catch. Dragging the toes, and that's going to be a first down. Well done. So they will accept the penalty and move forward. So now a fresh set of downs, first and ten after roughing the passer. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw, eluding the pressure right. And that is intercepted on the sideline. Wait, no. They'll say no. It was caught out of bounds. So this is just an incompletion here. And he's got it. And he can't quite get there. Tackled down at the one. The Cardinals going to use the first of their timeouts. As the clock will stop with 18 seconds remaining. A game-winning field goal would be a chip shot from here. Let's see how they play it on first and goal. And no signal, but I don't think he got the surge behind center. No, he's going to be kept out of the end zone. They'll look to run with Dillon. And I think they stopped him again. They did at the one-yard line. And they get the timeout called here. It comes with one second remaining on the clock. And now this game's going to come down to the right leg of their kicker. The clock showing just one tick. This for the win. And on! 